All right guys, so today's video is about resetting the admin password for a web GUI user. And it's pretty simple. Uh, it works for any FMC. Now the way you might access the CLI in order to accomplish this may vary based on your hardware uh, chassis or the hypervisor that you're using. So in this particular video, I'm using VMware's ESXi and vCenter 6.7, and I'm running obviously an FMC V. The process is still the same once you've able to achieve CLI access, however. So let's get to it. You can use this video for any other setup. You just have to figure out how to get to CLI. Thanks. All right, so the requirements for this particular video as implemented here are pretty simple today. You need access to the FMC through CLI with the CLI admin credentials. Remember on FMC, there are two sets of admin credentials, one for the web GUI and the other for the CLI. Now, as long as you have the admin credentials for CLI, you're good. If you don't, there is another video that will follow to show how to reset the admin CLI password. And all you have to do if you've forgotten both is reset the admin CLI password first and then move on to the admin web GUI password next. So if you've forgotten both, follow the CLI video and then come back to this one and you're good to go. All right, so since we're working with VMware's ESXi and FMCV, there's actually multiple ways we can perform this recovery and I'm gonna show you both of them simultaneously here. Now, the basic concept of this is you need admin privileges in the root CLI. So if you know the admin CLI login credentials, then you can just open an SSH session to your device. Now, in this case, I'm using a basic user and I'm gonna simulate what you might be doing. So if I'm logging with my basic user instead of the admin, then I will need to sudo to admin. And so at the prompt, I would type expert, and then I would type sudo su space dash. That dash is important because that's an option or switch that tells it to load the admin uh, user paths as well as giving you admin privileges. Uh, I find that to be the most consistent way to impersonate the admin persona so that you can do this. Now you notice when I did sudo su dash and then type the password, I am now root. At this point, it's a matter of typing the single command that will reset the web GUI password. So I'm gonna pause here. This is how to get where you need to on the CLI through SSH if you have that access. If you don't have that access and you're on a hypervisor, then I'll show you how to get there as well. So I'm on VMware's vCenter using ESXi. I'm gonna log into my hypervisor. And this is uh, ESXi and vCenter and vSphere 6.7. So for you, it should be fairly simple if you just go to Home, click on Hosts and Clusters, and navigate down to your FMC. In this case, this is mine. And all you have to do is click this image here. You could also click Launch Web Console, but I find it easiest just to click on the image and then tell it to load the web console. Click OK. And now we are once again at the same prompt as, this, as if you were CLI'd in through SSH. So at this point, I could choose to use instead the admin credentials. Remember, the admin credentials for CLI versus the web GUI are actually separate and distinct. There are two admin credentials. So I'm at the caret, and I need to type expert to drop into the Linux bash. And now I'm ready to go. I've got admin privileges here because I logged in as admin. And then I also have admin privileges here on my putty because I logged in as a normal user and then sudoed to admin. Now it's one single command that is very easy to, to use to change the password. So I'm gonna open up a text file just so you can see exactly what I'm typing here. And my current admin username and password is this. I'm gonna show you that by verifying it here. I'm gonna log into the FMC that I have. And at this prompt, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the admin username and the admin password. Just to show you, this is currently the password. Okay, now that is not the password that I want to have work. So what I'm going to do now is log out. This is simulating a forgotten password. I'm gonna type in admin, and then I'm going to type in a new password that I actually wanted to be. Cisco for real. <coughs> and I'm gonna show you that that password currently does not work. 
This is part of the, oh, I've forgotten my password, I'm typing it wrong or whatever. So now what I'm going to do is go to CLI and type the single command user tool dot pl dash p for setting the password the username within the quotes that you want to change and then the new password that you want it to be and hit enter and it is that simple now the password for the web GUI has been changed I can come back here I can hit login again with the exact same password that I already have pasted in and now it successfully authenticates so that's it it's that simple if you're just trying to set up or change the web GUI admin credentials. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and there's going to be another video showing you how to change CLI. Now, if you've forgotten both passwords, both the CLI and the web GUI, then you must start first with changing the CLI password. So look for my other video, the CLI password, and if you've forgotten both, start with that one and then move to this one. All right, guys, have a good one.